Yeah, I think uh, the pressure was immense on all of the teams that were trying to qualify, and you could feel that uh, in the racing. And the fact that the conditions here in Israel are, uh, you know, or here in Haifa are really shifty and really on and off pressure, it made the racing ex extremely challenging for, for the teams that were trying to, to do it. And you could feel the pressure on the course. And, uh, you know, in the end, it was an interesting game. There were eight, uh, eight countries in the gold fleet uh, vying for six places. And, uh, you know, it was a great contest and it was a great event, really nice racing. Um, and obviously we were absolutely chuffed to have uh, taken the fifth uh, Olympic place. I mean, it's pretty amazing actually to come back here after five years. My first uh, 420 Worlds were here in 2010 and uh, we, we, made, we made the Gold Fleet. We ranked 24th coming into the Gold Fleet. In 2010, in a 420, racing against the top guys like Jordi and um, all the best guys in the world, you know, in a 420s at the time, and we were just an outsider who just came in, got in, an invite for, from the 420 class, which was really amazing for a great opportunity for us to get, and uh, we're so chuffed to actually finish fifth at the end of, at the end of the week by qualifying 24th, and. Um, Today we're standing here again after five years and uh, just finished fifth, the fifth country of, of the qualifying countries. And it's a pretty amazing story for us to be here. And uh, we, I love this place. I would love to have my second world championship again here. Well, you know, the 470s slogan is that it's the boat that the world sails. And uh, we're really, really proud of the fact that we were able to make a contribution to uh, bringing Africa uh, forward in the 470 with uh, with our campaign, and uh, what we're really excited about is the prospect uh, that the 470 class and uh, our federation and ourselves are all working towards organising of the African 470 Championship. It'll be the first African Championship uh, for the 470s, and uh, you know what what this means us qualifying here is that. Uh, the African space remains open for the Rio 2016 Olympics, which means that a second African country can qualify and go to the games. And uh, you know, in January 2016, the event in Cape Town, that you know, the African Championship will be hopefully a great celebration of the 470s success in being a, a truly uh, international class and a class that has uh, uh, interest and in, and in growing uh, 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 growing enthusiasm in Africa, uh, which obviously is really key in uh, in, in improving. Uh, the, the, the global reach of the 470 class and we're very excited to be a part of that. We felt it in, in our need to qualify here in Haifa, we felt that we were not just racing for ourselves but also racing for Africa to try to bring uh, that second spot uh, in, into, the, into the mix. So we're, we're extremely pleased about it on, on so many levels. Okay.